Welcome to the Culture of Healthcare, Nursing Care Processes. This is Lecture B. The component, the Culture of Healthcare, addresses job expectations in healthcare settings. It discusses how care is organized within a practice setting, privacy laws, and professional and ethical issues encountered in the workplace. By the end of this unit, Nursing Care Processes, students will be able to describe what nurses do and how they are trained, discuss the role of certified nursing assistants, describe how nurses make clinical decisions and assess patients, identify the settings where nurses work, discuss the procedures that nurses perform, identify nursing career opportunities, including those not involved with direct patient care. This lecture discusses the nursing process, including how nurses use clinical judgment and assess the patient. This lecture also discusses how nurses meet legal and societal expectations and the roles that nurses can play in improving patient care. Clinical judgment is a skill that nurses and other health care providers use to learn what health problems a patient has. Nurses also rely on clinical judgment in deciding how to manage those problems. When a nurse first works with a patient, he or she might not have much information about what is wrong. The nurse can find out what is wrong by observing the patient, asking questions of the patient or the patient's family, looking at the patient's chart, examining the patient, and interpreting all of this information. A nurse's clinical judgment does not depend only on technical and scientific skills, however. The nurse also relies on his or her perceptions and gathers non-health information. For example, the nurse might need to learn how the patient and the patient's family feel about the health problem what their social situation is, what their coping skills are like, and what their cultural values are. Nurses use clinical judgment as part of the nursing process, which is a systematic way of treating patients. The nursing process is explained later in this lecture. Clinical judgment is not based entirely on facts. A nurse's clinical judgment skills also reflect his or her own education, personal knowledge, experience, values, politics, and perspective. For example, a nurse's knowledge of a particular patient can affect decision-making. The nurse might know that a patient responds poorly to certain types of treatment. The nurse might also know how other patients have responded to certain treatments, and he or she might base patient care decisions on this knowledge. Unfortunately, a nurse might also draw on personal biases or prejudices when making decisions about patient care. The cognitive continuum theory states that all judgments are based on a combination of both intuition and analysis. Intuition means a gut feeling or insight that is not based on facts. Analysis in healthcare means careful reasoning about all patient information to determine the nature of the illness and what the next steps should be. Nurses do sometimes use intuition to make decisions about patient care. Research shows that nurses' decisions tend to be more intuitive when they are under time pressure and are dealing with situations that are complicated and unclear. Conversely, nurses' decisions tend to be more analytical when they are dealing with situations that are structured and clear. Even if a nurse uses more intuition than analysis to make a clinical decision, he or she needs to be able to explain the reason for the decision. Evidence-based decision-making emphasizes the utilization of scientifically proven diagnostic and treatment methods for patient care. However, the decision-making process needs to allow for the nurse's knowledge and experience and the patient's preferences. Researchers have found that nurses are most likely to look up published research data when they need to give medication or provide acute care. They also keep up with new research through continuing education courses. For help with many clinical decisions, however, nurses prefer talking to nursing colleagues or other healthcare professionals. To make effective decisions, nurses must think about a problem thoroughly and try to find an accurate, reasonable, and fair solution. This type of thinking is called critical thinking. One of the goals of critical thinking is to avoid biases, stereotypes, and prejudices. The patient benefits when a nurse uses critical thinking to make a clinical decision. Ideally, the nurse looks carefully at the problem and the context of the problem, considers his or her own biases, and considers several possible treatment options. Critical thinking skills improve when a nurse reflects on whether or not a decision had a good outcome. 
nurses who take the time to analyze their own decision-making can make better decisions in the future. Many nurses make a wide variety of clinical decisions every day. For example, in one case, a new mother was exhausted as a result of breastfeeding and felt guilty that she could not keep up with the guidelines she had been given. Her nurse shortened the recommended time that the mother should breastfeed. This nurse decided that improving the mother's well-being was more important than adhering to the hospital's breastfeeding guidelines. A nurse might also use clinical decision-making skills to choose between several different options for patient care. For example, a researcher documented a situation in which a nurse had to respond to a breathing problem in a hospitalized newborn. The nurse chose a type of intervention that was least likely to interfere with recent surgery the infant had undergone. All nurses follow a system called the nursing process when they are working with patients. Nurses use clinical judgment skills throughout the nursing process in order to create the best possible outcome for each patient. The nursing process is a holistic system that treats both the problem and the patient. It allows the nurse to evaluate both the immediate health problem and the context of the problem, such as how the health problem affects the patient and the patient's family. The nursing process has five steps. Assessing the patient, diagnosing the problem, creating a plan of care, implementing the plan, and evaluating how well the plan works. The following slides explain each step of the process. The nurse must document all steps of the nursing process in the plan of care so that other health care providers who care for the patient can then follow the plan. The plan of care can also be used to evaluate how well treatment is working. To assess a patient, the nurse asks questions, observes the patient, and examines the patient as needed. A nurse asks the patient or the patient's family about the history of the health problem. The nurse also looks at physiologic data, which shows how a patient's body is functioning through test results on the patient's chart or through a physical exam. In the assessment, the nurse also considers the context of the problem. This can include the patient's attitude and behaviors, as well as the patient's or the family's cultural beliefs, spiritual beliefs, lifestyle, and financial resources. The nurse also considers the patient and or the patient's family needs for education about a relevant health topic. The nurse then develops a nursing diagnosis. She or he considers the health problems that need to be addressed and any non-health issues that could affect treatment. The nurse also needs to think about and plan for the patient's risk of other health problems and whether the patient's current health problem is part of a larger syndrome. Nursing diagnoses usually differ from medical diagnoses. A medical diagnosis, which refers to a disease, is made only by a physician, advanced practice nurse, or physician assistant. In contrast, a nursing diagnosis describes a patient's physical, sociocultural, psychological, and spiritual response to an illness or potential health problem. For as long as a disease is present, the medical diagnosis never changes but a nursing diagnosis evolves as the patient's responses change. Some examples of nursing diagnoses are anxiety, confusion, diarrhea, fatigue, hopelessness, impaired parenting, and risk of violence. The next step in the nursing process is to develop a plan of care for the patient. If the patient has several health problems, the nurse prioritizes them, treating the most urgent problem first. Next, the nurse works with the patient or the patient's family to set measurable short-term and long-term health goals. These goals help the patient manage, resolve, or prevent health problems. If the patient is healthy, the nurse might work with the patient to set wellness goals, such as losing excess weight. Then the nurse decides how to help the patient meet these goals. The nurse discusses the plan of care with other health care team members and with the patient, the nurse also makes sure that all the necessary resources are available to carry out this plan. After the plan is created, the nurse may work with other caregivers and other health care providers to implement the plan. To make the plan as successful as possible, the patient and or the patient's family are included in the implementation. The nurse might do a variety of tasks to implement the plan. For example, the nurse might directly help the patient teach or counsel the patient or the patient's family, or monitor how well the patient is doing. 
The nurse also records how well the plan is working. Many things can change after the nurse implements the plan of care. There might be a change in the patient. For example, the patient might respond better or worse than expected to treatment. Even if the plan is working well for the patient, resources might change for the nurse and other health care providers. For example, staff changes might affect how the treatment plan is carried out. The nurse conducts an ongoing evaluation of how well the plan of care is working, and he or she changes the plan as needed. Traditionally, Western society has viewed nurses as caring, nurturing, and self-sacrificing. In the past, nursing was often provided by religious orders, and it was sometimes even seen as spiritual. Although nurses receive training in science and technical skills today, they are still expected to be compassionate and nurturing. These traits help nurses respond well to patient needs. Nurses are now expected to do more than provide compassionate care. They need to follow protocols, standards of care, and regulations, use technology, and stay updated on new developments in their area of specialty. Like other health care providers, nurses need to understand their legal responsibilities. Five important legal issues for nurses are informed consent, patient privacy, documentation, dosing, and reporting. Before caring for a patient, in most cases the nurse must make sure that the patient understands the planned treatment and its risks and benefits. If possible, the patient should sign a document showing that he or she has provided informed consent for the treatment. Nurses, along with other health care providers, also must protect the privacy of a patient's health records. The Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act of 1996, or HIPAA, states that providers may share a patient's health information only with people who are authorized to see it. The nurse may be involved with working with the patient in signing various HIPAA forms. Nurses also need to adequately document all the care that they give to a patient. This documentation creates a legal record, so it needs to be clear, objective, and thorough. Medication errors cause hundreds of thousands of deaths and injuries in the United States every year, and nurses and their employers can be held liable. Nurses are expected to give the right drug to the right patient at the right dose at the right time and by the right route. If a patient shares that he or she or that someone else was abused, nurses are legally obligated to report this information to the appropriate authorities. For example, a patient might make an allegation of domestic abuse, child abuse, or sexual abuse. Because most nurses interact often with patients, they often have experience and insights that can enable them to help improve the quality of health care. Nurses can develop standards of care for institutions or help measure the quality of care that patients receive. For example, nurses might help an institution review patient charts, interview patients about their care, and observe interactions between healthcare providers and patients to measure the quality of patient care. Many institutional accrediting and licensing agencies also look at the rate of medication errors when rating an institution. Researchers have found that medication errors are often caused by poor systems and poor communication within hospitals and other organizations. By reporting medication errors, nurses can help remedy such problems and protect patients. This concludes Lecture B of Nursing Care Processes. In summary, nurses use clinical judgment to make the best decisions about patient care. Clinical judgment takes into account both facts, such as a patient's blood pressure and pulse, and more subjective information, such as a patient's coping skills or cultural needs. Nurses use their clinical judgment skills when following the five-step nursing process for treating patients. The nursing process includes assessing the patient, diagnosing the problem, creating a plan of care, implementing the plan of care, and evaluating the plan of care. Along with providing patient care, nurses can play important roles in protecting patients' legal rights and improving patient care.